Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on a few trending tickers. Um, first, I want to cover TGGI or Trans Global Group. Um, got the daily time frame pulled up here and I do see that they are in a nice little uptrend. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I did throw a trend line up because you can see they kind of bounced off of a key support level here around 0.007. Uh, dipped a little below it here, but rejected it pretty hard with the huge wick. Uh, sold back down to that level, bounced off of it again and again here. So you can really see like one, two, three, four times hitting that level and rejecting it nicely. And then they got into this nice uptrend. So you can see they ripped, got above the 21-day EMA, pulled back to this trend line, uh, ripped again, got all the way up to about uh, two cents, and then started to sell off, but bounced nicely a, a couple times here. Um, right off of that trend line. So I think if this thing can continue to respect this uptrend line, um, you know, then I'll be bullish on the stock as long as it can keep kind of ripping here, making these uh, higher highs, higher lows, you know, then I think that's key uh, to the upside. So that barrier right there at two cents is definitely key. It's pretty close to it right now. I can see the bid ask right now um, is 18 and 19 cents. So it's really close to that level right now. Let's kind of see what happens. Futures um, are kind of down. Right now, no surprise with the last two days, pretty insane rippage in the market. So you can see futures are slightly down here. Uh, NASDAQ futures down 0.6%, S&P futures down 0.4%, uh, Dow futures down 0.4% as well. Bitcoin futures green right now, up a half a percent. But um, yeah, so let's see if this thing starts to move lower at open or kind of what direction this thing goes, but definitely keep an eye on this uptrend line and then to the upside, keep an eye on the two cent level. If this thing on the daily time frame here can bust through the two cent level and close above it, I think that's a good sign. I think it's going to, uh, you know, make a nice rip to a fresh high and then look for it to pull back towards this trend line that I drew here. Um, another ticker that I haven't covered uh, in a few days is HUSA or Houston America Energy. Um, it was making some insane moves the last video I made, and uh, I think it was up around like 12 or $13. And I was just like, this move from two to 16, like an 800% move is just not sustainable. And, you know, typical when you see like penny stocks make these kind of moves, they die off quickly. And that's exactly what happened here. So I had a fat pullback here. So it went from two to 16, pulled back, and now it's floating around. Looks like it's going to open a little higher here around 620. So I'm going to dig into the 15 minute time frame here and some key levels that I'm looking at if you want to trade, you know, this kind of a shorter time frame is around this five level. You can see here it says low of 505, but you can see rejection here, 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 almost here. It touched it again. So you've really got, you know, just above five dollars there. You've got several touches on this time frames and you just really see some consolidation here and it's really tucked within a range. So I think to the downside, that 505 level is key. Um, if this thing sells through that and closes below that on this time frame, I think that would be a good short entry. And then to the upside, you see several rejections of the 650 level. You've got a fake out situation here. You've got rejection. Um, a couple more times over here and then another rejection um oh, my mouse just disconnected so you got a uh rejection here 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 and here this is more of like a fake out situation i was talking about but um yeah you got four rejections of that level and you see in pre-market today it's just trending back towards that 21 day ema um so yeah keep an eye on that 650 level i think if it can bust through that key barrier um, then this thing may be able to run up to 750. You can see a touch of that level here as this thing was kind of downtrending. Uh, it ran up to that 750 level before it ended up falling through the 650 and that became a resistance level. Uh, so keep an eye on those two levels here. I think those can really dictate a good long or short entry on this stock. So I'll continue to keep you guys updated here on uh, these two tickers and any other trending tickers that I see pop up in the markets. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.